the question was, why not me? Why can't we be on the podium? And this group of athletes has turned it around to it's our turn. Okay, well, the World Para Championships less than two weeks away. Perfect time to speak to Para Performance Lead Carla Nichols, who joins us now in Athletics North. Thanks so much for doing this, Carla. I appreciate it. Oh, thanks for the invite. Well, let's start right there. World Championships, like I said, less than two weeks away. Even as media, we get excited for this. I, I don't know how the athletes do. For these championships, it's, it's different, Rob. There's an excitement, but there's also a level of confidence this team has never had before. It's been a fantastic year and a half. These guys, especially the top eights in the world, have really concentrated on how they can improve their performance gaps against the rest of the world. When we entered these past two years, the question was, why not me? Why can't we be on the podium? And this group of athletes has turned it around to, it's our turn. We're ready. We're going to fight like crazy. Everything we do is going to be quality. They've just uh, really turned it around. I'm super excited for them. I imagine that might be a bit difficult for some athletes who for, for so long, the focus is on them and their event. And now you're kind of painting a different picture saying, no, you're not an individual athlete. You're part of a team that's representing your country. Yeah, you know what? We, we do for sure say that you are an individual because every individual is out there on their own in their own training environment, doing their thing. Um, but it's what they do collectively and their approach and how they hold each other accountable is really what's put this team another step forwards. They've created their own hashtag, uh, fight to the finish. And basically what that means is together, they're going to represent Canada and uh, fight right to the very end of these championships. Carl, I want to shift gears a little bit. As you and I discussed off the air, I had a chance to speak to Jesse Zesu, and you know what an incredible story his is. When you look at just how he didn't even necessarily even know he was a para athlete at one point of his life. The way it is right now, I, it has to be done in an aggressive manner in terms of just getting getting the information out there, uh, not succinctly, but more so just just as much as possible to the point where it becomes a mainstream thing. Where just pumping out like getting out the knowledge getting out the facts of the t11 to t12 t20 t30 t t whatever in terms of track and field uh getting out that information on the daily or on the weekly or on the monthly not just every four years not just every other year um will really do that to the point where actually people know and kids like me will find out about this when they're 12 not when they're 21. do you think the Paris sport world is doing enough right now to kind of educate the fans and let them know exactly what they're watching and in turn have the popularity, you know, rise. Are we doing enough? No, we're never doing enough. Jesse's absolutely right. We have to be able to speak the language every day. Um, and any, any opportunity that we have to educate the public, educate families, educate coaches and educate our own sport about Paralympics and the classification piece and what that means. Athletics Canada has actually hired our own classification lead and her responsibility, her number one responsibility is to guide athletes, coaches and families about classification and to help them through that whole process. We just need to keep talking about it and as much as we can educate the public, the more enjoyable watching the Paralympic Games is going to be. And I truly believe more athletes are going to join Paralympics or para athletics when they understand a little bit more about it. Carla, thanks so much for doing this. Really appreciate your time. I guarantee this is not the last time we're going to be speaking to you. Uh, so enjoy the World Championships. We'll talk to you soon. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, that's the end of the video. But you're not at the finish line yet because we've got plenty more content. And if you want to see it, subscribe to the channel. And just look at all the videos you can watch. Morgan and myself talking track.